Let me start with a truth the healthcare industry rarely admits. Good health does not generate repeat business. If your heart, hormones, and blood vessels are thriving, you stop needing refills and you stop searching the internet for the next miracle capsule. A steady stream of half results, however, guarantees you'll be back in line at the pharmacy or clicking add to cart for another supplement. That is why it is essential to understand where genuine science ends and clever marketing begins. In my clinic, I see men who have spent small fortunes on tablets that promised vitality, yet quietly undermined the very physiology required for a firm, reliable erection. Medication can certainly save lives, and targeted supplementation can correct bona fide deficiencies, but swallowing random pills, just in case, can do real harm. Today, I will walk you through three over-the-counter nutrients that routinely sabotage vascular and hormonal balance, explain the latest peer-reviewed data behind those effects, and offer evidence-based guidance so you can support, rather than injure, your sexual health. So, let's get started without any further delay. Penile erection is a delicate concerto conducted by four systems simultaneously. Endocrine signaling, intact peripheral nerves, healthy cavernosal tissue, and a vascular tree that dilates on command. Nitric oxide released from endothelium relaxes smooth muscle. Arterial inflow increases. Venous channels collapse to trap blood. Rigidity ensues. Disrupt any one of those players and performance fails. Keep that picture in mind as we examine how seemingly innocuous health products can throw the whole symphony off key. Number one, calcium tablets. A stiff artery is not a strong artery. Calcium is indispensable in the right place. 99% belongs embedded in bone, the remaining 1% circulates in ionized form to control muscle contraction, neurotransmission, and coagulation. Problems arise when a large supplemental dose floods the bloodstream. Randomized trials dating back to a 2010 BMJ meta-analysis already signaled danger. Participants receiving 1 gram elemental calcium daily without concomitant vitamin D experienced a 30% spike in myocardial infarction risk. Fast forward to 2023, and a Korean nationwide cohort of osteoporotic patients showed the odds of acute coronary syndrome nearly doubling in high-dose calcium users lacking vitamin D co-administration. Mechanistically, the surge in serum calcium promotes vascular smooth muscle cells to transdifferentiate into osteoblast-like cells, a process called arteriosclerosis calcific metamorphosis. The arterial wall literally begins to mineralize, losing its ability to dilate. The penis, whose helicene arteries must expand rapidly to create intracavernosal pressures above 100 millimeters of mercury, is one of the earliest victims. Mild hypertension, reduced penile pulse amplitude on Doppler, and eventually full erectile dysfunction follow. Unless your serum calcium or parathyroid hormone profile documents a deficit and your physician is monitoring 25-OH vitamin D, PTH, and renal function, skip the chewable calcium. Dietary strategy, leafy greens, collards, kale, small bone fish, sardines, and fermented dairy provide bioavailable calcium packaged with vitamin K2, magnesium, and peptides that direct the mineral into bone rather than artery. Number two, high-dose vitamin E, from antioxidant to anti-erection. Alpha tocopherol earned superstar status in the 1990s marketing era of antioxidants cure everything. Yet frank vitamin E deficiency is almost unheard of outside malabsorption syndromes such as abitalipoproteinemia or extensive bowel resections. The SELECT trial, Journal of the American Medical Association, 2011, shattered the panacea image. 35,533 men randomized to 400 international units. Synthetic alpha tocopherol daily developed a statistically significant 17% increase in prostate cancer incidence compared with placebo. Subsequent meta-analyses linked doses above 400 international units to higher all-cause mortality in certain populations. Why does excess vitamin E backfire? 
Redox biology requires balance. Reactive oxygen species, ROS, are not merely destructive. They are signaling molecules that trigger endothelial nitric oxide synthase, ENOS. Overshooting with lipophilic antioxidants, such as alpha-tocopherol, can blunt physiologic ROS bursts, paradoxically decreasing nitric oxide production. Less NO means poorer smooth muscle relaxation, premature venous leak, and weaker erections. Furthermore, vitamin E competes with gamma-tocopherol and tocotrienols, depleting these isoforms that neutralize peroxynitrite, another important vascular modulator. Dietary strategy, diversify tocopherols through sunflower seeds, hazelnuts, and spinach, rather than isolates of alpha-tocopherol. Let the food matrix supply balanced antioxidant ratios. Number three, zinc megadoses. Testosterone's friend, copper's foe. Zinc is unquestionably critical for Leydig cell steroidogenesis, sperm chromatin packaging, and immune defense. The recommended dietary allowance for men is 11 milligrams. Walk through any pharmacy, however, and you will see 25 milligram, 50 milligram, even 100 milligram capsules marketed for vitality. Intake above 40 milligrams daily, especially for weeks, disrupts copper absorption by upregulating enterocyte metallothionein, which preferentially binds copper and escorts it to slough off in the intestinal lumen. Copper deficiency is not benign. It compromises lysyl oxidase, the enzyme cross-linking elastin and collagen within arterial walls. The result is early vascular stiffening and microaneurysmal degeneration, documented in a 2020 American Journal of Clinical Nutrition trial where high zinc supplementation lowered plasma copper and deteriorated flow-mediated dilation. Inside the penis, copper-dependent enzymes stabilize the connective tissue forming the tunica albiginia. Weakening that scaffold predisposes to venous leak syndrome, Blood enters but cannot stay under pressure. Combine zinc excess with calcium-induced calcification and you create a perfect storm for erectile failure. Dietary strategy. Meet zinc needs through oysters, pumpkin seeds, pasture-raised eggs, and consider supplements only if a plasma zinc or hair mineral analysis confirms insufficiency. Quality formulations pair zinc with 1 to 2 mg copper glycinate to preserve balance. So, the thread connecting these three stories is simple. More is not inherently better. Human biochemistry is a network of checks and balances. Push one lever too far and another falls out of tolerance. Before ordering any nutrient in pill form, ask two questions. Do I have objective evidence of deficiency? And will this dosage disturb an interconnected pathway? If you suspect your sexual performance is declining, pursue quantifiable data rather than guesswork. Vascular ultrasonography, hormone panels, advanced lipid testing, and yes, proprietary digital tools such as our eH calculator can pinpoint weak links far more accurately than grocery store supplements selected on hope. Once real deficits are documented, targeted nutrition, lifestyle optimization, and precision dosing can restore youthful erectile capacity without collateral damage. Your best investment is not the largest bottle on the shelf. It is an informed strategy grounded in up-to-date science, guided by a clinician who treats your body as an integrated ecosystem, not a sales funnel. Stay discerning, stay balanced, and your biology will reward you where it matters most.